how to use PowerPoint with Camtasia or how to use Camtasia with PowerPoint. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is install Camtasia and this URL here has uh, is the link to the older version um, which we use. We also can you can also use Camtasia 8 but we've been finding that they've been getting really large uh, videos so we're trying to stay away from that at the moment to figure out what causing that. Uh, so if I suggest Camtasia 7 and this link will bring you to it. Um, make sure you have a key uh, to install it and we'll supply you with that as well. So how do you record a PowerPoint? Well first go to the add-ins uh, section in PowerPoint. When you click this it'll bring up this little menu here. Uh, this button here is to set the recording options. Make sure you choose the right microphone because you know you may have three or four listed. Make sure you you choose the one that you actually attached to your head. Um, turn on the mic. If this is not orange, it's not on. And then hit the record button. This will start up the process. It'll actually start the PowerPoint in, in um, show view just like we have here and start power and start Camtasia running so you can record. Um, you're going to make sure you want to click the record button. Um, you can pause it using Control 9 and then start up again uh, with Control 9. Um, make sure this bar has um, color in it, so talk into it. Uh, see that there's actually color going in, otherwise you have to reset your uh, microphone. Um, when you're done, Camtasia, when you reach the last slide, Camtasia senses that it's done. So it asks you, do you want to stop recording? and edit or do you have something else? Do you want to keep talking um, and therefore it will just have a blank space and we'll keep continue recording but in most cases you're all done so hit stop record. Uh, now that you've finished your recording what do you do? Well first you need to save the file. Put it somewhere that you will be able to find it. Um, it's going to create what they call a cam rec. This is just Camtasia's uh, recording file. It's just it the thing that it creates and uses to edit in Camtasia. You can't use this file in any other uh, program so um, it will record in AVI if you so wish and you can change that in the options and you can bring that into other uh, video files like Movie Maker or iMovie uh, but since you have Camtasia, Camtasia has video editing you can use the camera file and it will open up in, camera in Camtasia and edit it. Um, the file name it gives it is the title of your presentation so if you can change that but it helps you find it because the two of them will be connected. Um, as I said, Camtasia does have video editing. So, if you're all done, you can. If you need to make some changes, you know, click Edit Your Recording. If you don't need to make changes, I still suggest use Edit Your Recording because this allows you to uh, upload the video into um, YouTube. It also allows you to set the size of the video because it may make it smaller if you just hit uh, Produce and Record. So, this allows you to choose the dimensions. You can uh, use the video dimensions that you're recording in, which is fine. You're going to upload this to YouTube. It will set reset itself anyway. Um, but you don't want to make it smaller because then it's too hard to see. If you have any changes that need to be made, you can edit, make those changes right here in the timeline. Uh, this here allows you, this button here allows you to split. We have cut, copy, paste. You can zoom in, and these green markers are just uh, where I hit the slide. Every next, next time I hit the slide, these every time I hit a slide to go on to the next slide, these little markers showed up. That's what they're there for. That's it. They really have no uh, um, effect on what we're going to do because they're going to be deleted when we go to YouTube. If we were going to turn this into a flash thing, we could have a, a menu on the other side and it would put a menu for each button, but we're not going to be using that feature. Um, and that's what this actually says. We're going to go to produce and share our video. We're going to share it to YouTube. That's the, We're going to click on this little down arrow here to bring up this menu and choose share to YouTube. As I said, it's going to come up with a warning saying, well, some of this stuff is going to be deleted. It's okay, we don't need it. It's just the markers that are going to be going away. They're not. We're not going to have a, a timeline set up. So when you click OK, it's going to bring you to uh, your signing into YouTube. Make sure you put your username and password. Hit Enter. It will process through. Um, it takes, you know, depending on how long the, the video is, it could take one minute, it could take you know 30 minutes, but it has to go through and render the whole video and then it will upload it to YouTube and you will get a link and I will um, 
it will actually show open up a YouTube window saying you know this video is not ready for is being processed but at that point you can now share your video you'll have a YouTube uh, URL um, which is what I'm going to send you and um, you can then give that to your students put it in your blackboard site put it in an email put it in a word document whatever you want to do with it it's now available for you to send out and share with uh, everybody on the internet and 